Say, Sandra, why you always singing songs about your mom? What I tell them, y'all don't know how good my mama has been to me. You see, a good mama, if a child stay out a little too late at night, she ain't going to sleep.
In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there he will be also. And whither I go, he know. And the way, he know. Thomas said unto me, Lord, we go the way, and we can we go the way. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, not good evening, good morning. It's a beautiful, sunny Jamaican morning, and we're very happy to be here. I want to welcome you to the Paul Assembly Adventist Church. Um, we do hope that you will find our facilities comfortable and that you will enjoy your stay with us. I'm hoping that he will be here quite soon. Nevertheless, we are going to proceed with the program because we have another Thanksgiving service at 1 p.m. So I'm going to invite you now, friends, to sing with me this lovely hymn on our program. What a friend we have in Jesus. Our musician is not here as yet. Oh, so good. We pray. Your might and your power. We acknowledge your faithfulness. 
We thank you, oh God, for taking us safely here where our Lord, our intention is to give you a thanks for, for the life of your daughter. But oh God, we realize that we cannot do this without you holding our hands, without you lending us the breath of life a while longer. So we ask you, oh God, to draw nearer to us and to saturate this place with your Holy Spirit's presence. I ask you, oh God, that you will be with each person as they come forward to make their presentation and to give you glory. We ask you, O Lord, to give them holy boldness, to speak through them, so that everyone uh, will be blessed and their name will be glorified. O oh God, we, we, we ask you that you be with the family members at this time, especially that all they will uh, keep the fond memories of their loved ones uppermost in their mind. Most of all, dear God, we ask that as we go through this thanksgiving service, that we will come, those of us who know you, will come to love you more. And those who don't know you as yet, will come to know you as Lord and Savior. Take over this service, dear God. It all belongs to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We'll ask those of you who are participating to be under ready and to follow the program because we won't be calling item by item. I'm going to read, but well, I'm hoping most persons have a program. See so. So I, I read through um, a few items and then I'll ask the person to. So teach us the numbers, so teach us the numbers of our days, 
that we are that we may apply our hearts into wisdom. We are reserved by the shall have put 
on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, that is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth which giveth us but thanks be to God which giveth us victory to our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know what your law labor is not in vain in the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. I have a few children from my district who are members and students of the school and they are very well behaved. So we are very pleased to have you present at this funeral service this morning. At this time we will have uh, we'll be having a session of tribute. So I'm gonna ask you please to let your your tributes be within three to five minutes. They will come in this order. Over auxiliary staff, then uh, family in law, then we will the last one in this group will be Al Al Will be Altonika Right. And she is oh she's her school daughter. Let's have these three items in this order please. As you have heard we're from Fulga Road High School where Miss Jackie served up to the time of her passing. This is just a small part of the family, but I want to I want to take time out to offer sincere condolences to our family and friends. Indeed, we miss Miss Jackie, but I'm sure you will miss her more. Just want to say that the Lord will fix it for you. You know. If you hold on to his hands and lean on his commands, the Lord will fix it for you. They are times Hey! 
I extend our sincere condolences to our extended family. In a nutshell, J for jovial, and a joy to be around. A, accepting of people. C for caring. Q for quiet. U for unique. L for loving. I for irreplaceable. N for nice, like a pound of rice. And E for energetic. And that is how I want us to remember Jacqueline Mackenzie today. Good morning, everyone. When we talk about Jacqueline, we don't have to do much research. Because our physical appearance tells us how. Humble, kind, caring, and a determined, strong black woman, all the way from Manchester. When we used to visit Mama, we would come out of the yard, pot pan fire, long journey back home, but we never wanted before we get somewhere to pick up. We in your house, we in your fridge. When we used to come bed, I saw we used to live. Jackie, you be too nice. You bring the spice and the flavor to your family. You didn't have to add no artificial flavoring because everything was seasoned and all right. What a woman can wash. More than the ear she called me, Serena, sell me two the ticket and soap. My own gender bitch. When you look, bar for your head, and down the river, she turned, turned. Lightning cup down the river. When we look on clothes, you think I dare show it. What a woman can give. You put people needs before your own. And anybody could have borrowed a loan. You used to talk in such a humble tone. You made people around you happy. And that was just not just a wife, not just a mother. For as you gave your best, and now it has come for you to rest. Your life was a blessing and your memory was a treasure. You are loved beyond measure. So go in peace with earnestly. Your love in our hearts will extremely keep. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the hollow of his hands. I stand here this evening, this afternoon, this morning, to say that my mother has six children, and I'm the only girl, and I could say Jackie was my sister and sister-in-law. May her soul rest in peace and like a picture of China. <laughs> for the same song. High up on a mountain from where he descended an angel of the Lord declared that this day would be
Oh, 
is where the heart is. My heart's on home, though I never really had one to call my own.
Um, Jackie was the glue to the family. She loved her children dearly. And she never missed an opportunity to be with her grandchildren. We used to look forward to Jackie coming by the house almost every weekend to spend the time with us and her grandchildren. It is so sad that the 18th of March, I was getting ready to go to my best friend funeral. And Jackie was there trying to get me to look the best I can. And when I got back from the funeral, she said to me, Sheldon, cheer up. We know how you feel. We know it's not easy to lose a friend. But little did I know that on that very same night, I would have lost Jackie. We got up the morning, everybody was about, but we realized that she didn't know. Her. And I tried to wake her, I realized that it was lifeless. But the beauty about it, Jackie was a good soul. And you know the thing is, Foga Road, happy to see you here. I tell you, Jackie, live, walk, sleep. Foga Road. Even when they tell school out of session and they tell Jackie to come in at 8 o'clock, by 6.30, Jackie will leave the house and come here. She loves to work. Whenever she comes by my house, I can sit back. She will get everything done. Just Jackie, always going. And she's always there for her children. She came, my daughter's birthday was the Thursday. And my wife here decided that we were not going to go to the gate until Jackie comes in on Friday. And on Friday, we had our little celebration. And we didn't know that that was the last one. But I'm happy that Jackie impacted the lives of many, many persons. And that is what is important. It's not who you are, but the lives that you touch. That is really important. And I want to leave something very serious with you. And my colleague is at the back. This is Vaslan, my principal. And uh, I went to my best, my colleague's funeral. And uh, Mrs. Macedonia left a message. And she said, Stop getting ready and be ready. So I want to leave that message with us as I go. Stop getting ready and be ready. Thank you.
principle is on the outside, and since time is far spent, we will not render our item. We will allow other persons who have items on the program and make way for the preacher as well. So what I'm going to do is to invite every single person, every group represented from Cobra Road High School, we are going to be joined by our shortly. We have members of the ancillary staff, members of the student body, past students, members of the academic staff, and administrators. And of course, we have in our days parents. Five minutes. Parents. We are one minute. Parents. Mr. Principal, would you be kind enough to join us? Join me at the platform. So here is the here are rather the representatives of Fulbright Road High School. And this goes to show how well loved our dear Jacqueline Mackenzie was, and she'll always remain in our hearts. And we are most grateful to the family for having shared a Jackie with us for 15 years. She has been with us for and would have been a part of that nurturing environment. So thank you so very much, family. Our principal will now speak. Madam Mathology said it all about Miss Jackie. Good morning to everyone. Good morning. As she already said, condolences from the Fogelwood High family to the family of Miss Jackie McKenzie. I went to Fogel Road about four years ago and I met Miss Jackie McKenzie. And Miss Jackie has been Miss Jackie hardworking, dedicated, and she's the one who will go the extra mile, as Bogle said, that's Miss Jackie. If you ask her to come in for my sports program to, to cook on a, on a weekend, she never denies. She's always here. Sometimes she has to sacrifice going by his daughter just to be with us at Fort Road High School. They have a saying that at lunchtime, you can always listen to the principal to say, Miss Jackie, it's time for your talk shop to be closed. Because she believes that every single child should have lunch. And we are a small place, so sometimes the time will go leave some students who are out of lunch. I read inside that I saw on a board that we had that students were taking $100 to put on the board to say, I owe you Miss Jackie. <laughs> She went and credit the government goods, but she doesn't care. But that's Miss Jackie, how much she cares about our students. And so this morning, that's why we turn out in our chores this morning to show our appreciation for the Thanksgiving service for Miss Jackie McKenzie. Condolences again, and I wish you all the best. I know her life is gone somewhere. Somewhere, the song will say, um, Madam, always help me. She's somewhere around God's throne. That's my long, long time grace student. She's somewhere there. So Miss Jackie, rest in peace. Thank you very much. Collect, 
Death is hungry, one bite will do. Death is thirsty, one sip will do. He has room to your door, and welcome, not he stands. Death has no heart when beating on your door. He never waits for an answer, he comes right in. He knocks the rich, he knocks the poor, he takes you when you are old, even when you are young. Death makes you cry, even want to die. Death is dreadful. Death was here, then death is here now. Death will always be here, but have no fear. Death is everlasting, straight to the end. Thank you. Because she too fell in love with her beauty and her nice curly hair. 
Jackie then attended the Maypen Primary School and later Maypen Secondary. She eventually left Mrs. Binger to live with her aunt in Yorktown, Clarendon, and then went back to James Hill, where she attended Clarma K High, where she had a passion for the business subjects. Jackie had her first child, a bouncy baby boy, Raymond Constable, with Constantine Constable. She later met Joel McKenzie in 1985 at the James Hill Coffee Board. He recounted that she was a very beautiful young lady who most persons who came across her couldn't resist starting a conversation because of how social she was. They eventually courted and later got married. The union bore five children, Jeffrey McKenzie, Ramshaya McKenzie, Joel McKenzie Jr., Tampia McKenzie, and Demario McKenzie. Despite their financial constraint, they did their best to ensure all their children got every opportunity to better themselves and create a life much easier than the one she had growing up. Jackie had a quiet demeanor, but her warmth and love extended her immediate family and flowed over to her community. She had a heart of gold. She was a very compassionate person who rendered assistance to persons respecting of how friendly or hostile they were to her. She worked various jobs and irrespective of how she felt, she would still carry on with her work to ensure her children are taken care of. She was also a member of the Great Church of Prophecy. Due to the lack of employment opportunities in Rowley District, she relocated to Maypen in 2003 to assist Mrs. Bingham and to better meet the growing educational demands of her children. In 2007, she gained employment at the newly established Foga Road High School. This institution was very dear to her heart. She spoke passionately about their accomplishments, whether it be on the track, the Easter the Costa Cup competition, or the quality of their CFC results. She would always find something to gloat about her beloved Foga. She loved her job and, was, and up to her passing, she had devoted 15 years of service to the institution. She would be up and out from dusk and back by dawn. That was the type of person she was, dedicated. She also had a special bond with all of her grandchildren. She loved them dearly and it was obvious she was very happy when she was in their presence. She would often call to check up on the ones that weren't living so close, just to ensure that they were managing. They brought her, they brought her great joy. She would speak of all their accomplishments and how well they were doing in school. She would often partake in their birthday celebration, whether it be in person or just by giving gifts. They say a society grows great when old men plant trees in whose shade they know they'll never shelter. People are often inclined to act solely on the benefit they stand to gain. Philippians 2, verse 3 to 4. Do nothing for selfish ambitions or conceit, but in humility count on others more significant, more significant than yourself. Jackie was a true representation of a person who acted out of mere compassion and selflessness. She was always first to the hospital when friends and family members were sick or admitted, always ready to offer a helping hand. Whenever her children or siblings were in need of any financial assistance, she was always ready to offer a helping hand. She wasn't a wealthy person, but she had a big heart. She was, she was pivotal in organizing the first family reunion with her siblings, who all grew up separated, but bonded by the sheer experience of grief at an early age, with the untimely passing of their mother at age 37, leaving 12 young children to face the rigors of life without the warm embrace of a mother. One of our pater on our paternal grandmother's birthday, she was always the front runner in organizing parties, getting the supplies together and ensuring it's a success. You wouldn't have thought she was a daughter-in-law. 
Whenever a person from country wanted somewhere to stay, she always had an open door policy. Why must the good die young? We might ask. It's hard to understand why such a person would die so early when they had so much more of themselves to give to the world. But there's a scripture that answers this directly. Isaiah 57, verse 1 to 2. The righteous man perishes, and no one leads it to heart. The old men are taken away, but no one understands. For the righteous man is taken from calamity. He enters into peace. They rest in their bed who walk in their upright. Therefore, that person who no longer suffer of the ill that lies ahead in life, therefore cannot face earth any earth sorrow and would have fulfilled their purpose. On March 19, Jacqueline Mackenzie transitioned, leaving us with memories to last a lifetime. We will continue to cherish her legacy. May light perpetually shine upon her, and may her soul rest in eternal peace. just a phone call away from us here in the world. Just before it comes to us, however, uh, Sister John and company from the Parameter Garden, Seth Davis is here, will give to us a musical item. After that item, our pastor, Pastor Donald Valentine, will come to you. God bless you. Life is easy when you're up on the mountain and you got peace of mind like you never know. But then things change.
or the wind passed over it and is gone. And the players still option no, no more. But the mercies of the Lord is everlasting to everlasting unto them that fear him. And through his and his righteousness of his children's children. Old oh, Matthew are here this morning. The Lord is merciful to children's children. The Son has keep his covenant to those who remember his commandments to do them. This is the word of God. This is the word of God. There's one who saw Jesus. In his own troubles, he came to Jesus by night. The good to revive is like ABC. The stories are prominent and we keep using them to bless God and to our fulfillment. And if you say the best thing you want at the time of death, and if you're like me, you are acquainted with death. I'm gonna die when I was young, my brother's just two years ago, one day or the other. And I know you have the more painful stories. And if you haven't had it, buckle up. It's coming. But more than that, more than that, because God in his mercy, some families go through years without seeing much of a death. Yeah. But God is here to bless and do good. Yeah. Here what Nicodemus in court of God. And about praise Nicodemus graphically. He was a leader of the Jew. He was a man in the old. He, he had skills and competences. But all he said is surveying his life. He was a guy. Came to Jesus by night. Don't follow your friend. Don't follow your parents. God calls you. And you're here to come like the future is going to come. What must I do? It's a great question. Christ says you must be born again. And should it be that you wonder why it says that we go to Matthew 21 and the Bible says this is not death? That means if there's a second, then there is a first. And if there are two deaths, then there must be two life. You know, I say, if death, 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 no. There are two lives. But a natural man, a natural man, it is only he, it is only he who is a candidate for eternal life. And we have all in this spot. Psalm 90 says it clear. Three for years and ten. And it says, if by reason strength you go more, watch out pain and trouble. So while the blood grows warm this afternoon, I saw the roses. Live for yourself, churches in heaven. Where rust no more crop. Live for yourself. Indeed, saints of God, friends from the moon as all, we see the effort to attend funerals. We go miles and miles. Friend of mine, colleague, mother died after 15 years, but I said, I must reach out to him. Why? His mother died. So much effort. But beyond the funeral service, there's life. There's only one life here in the funeral service, and it's eternal life. Beyond that, because the Bible says the ways of sin is dead and the gift of God is eternal life. Therefore, I say to you this evening, by the word of God, this one or other, there is no torment in death. So don't say, may soul rest in peace. It is nowhere in the scripture. God is not like man. God who set boundaries on the sea, he rules on the affairs of man. And he says, in this time you accept me. So God is not waiting until we are dead to come and poke us. Because he was a dull man with all the sensibilities and proclivities. He has a dull man with health and consciousness. He comes while we are conscious. I just know where the time is here. Someone tells them when you are 12. 
And later on, they will, they will come and say, wait till the beginning of today to hear God's voice. Heart not your heart. Because God is mercy. We are clear. We are clear that those who pass up early, that those who go years and years, though much we live, God still says in his word, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. Therefore, if there's a singular pronouncement on those who die in the Lord, therefore those who die outside of God are a blessed. But is God and fear? No, not all. The Bible is clear. He says, rain from the just and the unjust. All our years, every person here, just sometime you must know it is God only who broke through and provided for you. So man has been blessed in his lifetime. And we have to bless about God. The thing is, many things to bless God is a sin. And they get cheerful. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. That's a part of it. But that that's it. What is the blessed God's name? It's a name in accordance with the revealing of God. And the revealing of God is that contingent upon our relationship to Him. The revealing of God is in this book. And God has given each man, wherever you are, remember God made a separate. You don't have to be like someone to be a candidate for heaven. You don't have to be like Jesus. So God has blessed you with skills. You're lettered and documented. Serve God right there. You don't have to be poor nor rich. It is God who gives power to take God into whom he tells us. So wherever we are, God is asking, and who here has heard of the account when he comes back and says, Give me what I gave you. And someone's buried, buried in the gift of God in the dirt. I was scared. I was scared. You know who else is scared? The Bible says Satan knows and trembles. I say to someone to say this morning, if you are trembling your heart, say, Jesus, you come, Galilee, come my heart and give me faith. And I can have faith. So when the tears in the middle of the fall, you can say it's well. It is well with my soul. Because it comes to that. It always comes to that. Here's someone today we heard of Miss McKenzie's involvement in school. There's somewhere where books are bound. It is in heaven. The Bible makes it clear. There's a book of human activity, Revelation 20, verse 12. It tells clearly, it tells clearly that those who belong to oh, the book of life, whose names are there, because each man must stand before God. Students are not picking on you. Or a small school teacher will give a large and influential, but it's all in line. He is a God who keeps record. He keeps record and is faithful. And guess what? The Bible still knows where we were born. God knows we are born, says grace can flow towards us. God knows we are born. And it's good and merciful. There's a book also of iniquity. There's a book for those who just speak about God. A book of remembrance is laid out. Pastor Valentine, that's Malachi 3. Those who fear and spoke of the Lord. Indeed, I entered the book of remembrance written before God. And today, as everything comes to this time, God says, Look at me and be saved. God says, Look at me and find hope and help. And God is mercy when He turns up and turns up to you. But there's coming a day. There's coming a day when mercy will no longer be mingled. There's coming a day when the wrath of God and someone said, Pastor, you're scared me. I'm not. I'm giving you the message. Corinthians said clearly the assurance of the time of death and mourning is the coming of Jesus Christ. Because we have no other assurance. With all the advances in medical care and health, we have no assurance. 
and receive you unto myself. Take heart today. Take heart, somebody. As we mourn the Mackenzies, as we mourn all the families who are joined to Miss Jacqueline, as we mourn them, no good way that we ourselves can and are candidates. The great question is what will be? What will be? I know what will be will not always be. The only thing that will be is the mercies of God. Is the mercies of God. Oh, how much Jesus paid for sins. He paid for the sin. Someone today here, Zechariah 13, 6 says, the question was asked, where have you received these wounds? Sin costs a lot. And salvation is most precious. Don't know this might help you. Old school maker of mine told me he was working. Huge project. And the truck with the cement went bad. And he hit with the hot as fast. And he said he went there and fixed what was necessary. And he got promoted instantly. Instantly. Because not only one house, but the entire project will be affected. A time sensitive load, a time sensitive material. There's something that's time sensitive is salvation. Salvation. We can only access it today. Today, while mercy lingers. Today, while you are responsive to God. And God says, at my right hand, they are precious for me. Tears will flow, but God shall wipe away all tears from their hands. There will be no sorrow nor crying, for the former things are passed away. What former things pass away by the time? The Bible is clear not only the grave, but the last enemy will destroy this death.
So we thank you at this time as we as the family go forward. Comfort their soul. Be with them. Provide for them. Strengthen them in time like this. Take full control of all of them in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <laughs> friends, we thank God for taking us through the program thus far. I am very
Concerning them? That he saw not even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them which also sleep in Jesus Christ will it be bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the comfort of God shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall raise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. For as God in his good mercy has permitted Jacqueline Mackenzie to fall asleep, we now tell her to the ground, earth to earth, ash to ash, Ensuring so the hope of the resurrection to come. Let us pray. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this time, dear Father, as we come before you, oh God. As we as Miss Jackie laid to rest in God, take good control. Take the family in charge and comfort them this time. As we go ahead and do what is necessary, dear God. Take full control. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. We call and sing the song. We go just now to some sweet day, chorus I don't know who can sing, please sing. Number two, one, two. Some sweet day, I'm going away. Some sweet day, I'm going away. I'm going to leave this world. 
mercies we give thanks for the reality that there is hope we present one again the family of Miss Mackenzie and we ask God your mercies Lord as our feet go to our several homes may we take you with us God be with us we pray in Jesus name Amen acknowledgement 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 the family of the late Jacqueline Mackenzie we should thank everyone who has, in one way or the other, supported us during this very difficult time. Your words of encouragement, prayers, text messages, phone calls, hugs, and kind gestures did not go unnoticed. May the God of grace and peace continue with all. Thank you. The family of the late, Jacqueline. Oh, well done. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. God bless you. 
Serve God and live. Good day, everyone. Thank you. 